Hello folks, Mundane Man here again, and guess who's got his head back in the attic again? We had our roof replaced last year because of some leaks that they found, and the fact that there was no membrane around the uh, base of the roof or even on the whole roof at all, so we had a $12,000 roof replacement done. And now we're still getting the same leak into our master bathroom. Well, I'm not sure if you can see up here, a bunch of frost. And that is the bathroom fan um, and the plate for the bathroom fan hose seems to be half off there. So let's see if we can solve this problem. Let's get at it. Now it's never fun to be crawling around in your attic and the space is limited and nails are poking through at the top. But look at all that frost. I don't see it, no, if you can see with the vent here but it's hanging down so obviously we're getting leakage up through the vent and into the attic and you can see how black that lumber is getting and you can see the black there so this has been happening for a little while okay so I unscrewed the vent from the the sheathing on the roof and basically it has come unscrewed and the seal is broken between the fan uh, vent here and the vent where it exits out the attic so I'm hoping all I have to do is goop this up screw it back in and it'll seal off this mess that we're getting and I don't know if you can see but you know there's ice here there's ice on the ground there in the insulation so just a big bloody mess all the time and I'm getting tired of it Okay, I'm going to have to go off to the uh, hardware store and find something that will adhere when it's damp and it's cold up here. I imagine it's probably 0 degrees Celsius or 32. And most things that you buy, they say they want a 40 degree temperature. One concern too is the, the uh, sheathing is a little bit soft from the moisture and just from time of this probably going on for months or years so now i'm gonna have to uh, worry about that because i don't want to have to peel back the roof and replace that sheathing but if the problem continues i'll have to get the roofers in to uh, replace that vent and maybe that piece of sheathing okay so i'm at low so i think i'm gonna try this pl premium and it's the uh, fast grab because the thing's going to be hanging. I am going to screw the plate in too, but we'll give this stuff a shot. Okay, I was walking through Lowe's when I picked up the uh, PL fast grab. I found this uh, flex glue and it's pretty pliable. I get soft in the tube. And it says strong and rubberized and waterproof. So... I'm thinking I'm going to try this instead of gluing that uh, uh, vent holder on because I'm going to be screwing it into the uh, the sheathing as well. It'll give a, a double bond, I'm hoping. And maybe because it's pliable, it'll act like a bit of a, a seal as well. So I'm going to give that a shot. And uh, hopefully the fact that the sheathing is kind of soft um, won't uh, prevent this from uh staying up there for till the end of time or at least for as long as i'm in this house anyways tired of being in the attic i'll tell you that right now you can see i learned from my last few trips up into the attic that it gets messy and you always bring insulation down with you so i thought i would do the right thing and uh drop some plastic over everything in here okay it's brought some drill bits up with me I got my goop and where can I put it so I don't lose it and I got a razor blade to try and scrape off some of the stuff off the that piece of tin and overall I think this is just a horrible design let's get some light in here so you can see I mean look at all that frost up there and the mess around that plywood. I hope that plywood uh, dries out and doesn't disintegrate. I'm using a 
razor blade here to clear off some of the old stuff that they used to seal this. Should take those old screws out too. Okay, let's take some of this goop and spread it around where the screws are and we'll see how this works. Okay, put a bunch of stuff around it. Now I'm going to try and screw the vent back in. Hopefully it stays. Okay, with great effort. I got it all gooped up and I got it screwed back in there. Now I've turned the bathroom fan on to see if I can feel air escaping. And I'm going to take an old towel and clean up some of this ice that was dripping on my back the whole time I was working on this. I think this is a pretty poor design. With ha having the attic hatch open, the warm air coming up here, you can see the ice is slowly starting to melt and creating a lot of drippage. So I'm going to try and wipe that up if I can. I've been up here so much making a mess and compacting the insulation. I'm just going to take my rake here and try and spread it around a bit just to make it a little fluffier. Get some over the fan back there. Well, it ain't perfect, but it's a little better. I've been uh, talking about changing out the bathroom fan because it's too small for our ba the size of our bathroom, but it's been two years and I still haven't done it. So that's still sitting up there. There's a few less drips after I wiped off the uh, frost on the underside of the sheathing, but there's still some, still some dripping in. Not much you can do about it until it just all evaporates or, uh, you know, dries up one way or another. Well, let's get this attic hatch closed up and call this a job. I'll probably stick my head up here in a few days and see what the status is, but unfortunately being November, it's not going to warm up very much, so the attic is going to stay cool, which it should, uh, you know, keep the cold air up there and the hot air down here, but um, it might be another job I'll have to tackle in spring and, you know, if I have to get the roofers out to uh, replace that uh, sheathing and redo that spot of the roof. This stuff sticks real good. You can see where I just about went through the ceiling once. Another time that I was up there. There we go. Just like nothing ever happened in here. All cleaned up. You should probably be wearing a mask when you're doing this kind of thing, but you know, what are you going to do? I'm going to probably check on it in a couple days. Uh, See if it's dried out at all. Um, I'm really worried about that uh, sheathing being kind of crusty and soft at the same time. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes and possibly see if we got to get it replaced in the spring. Okay, it's been a few weeks since I did my repair of the vent. So let's just uh, stick our head up in the attic again and see how everything looks. I'm still seeing moisture here from my attic hatch. So that's concerning. So I'm not sure. I put some sealant around the attic hatch, but it doesn't seem to be uh, sealing up completely. Still frost up on the ceiling there. Okay, so there's the vent. There's still some frost around it. But not nearly as bad as it was before. Now we've had minus... 40 weather and now we're sitting around minus five so you know you see, see frost around varying different components so I hope that would be considered normal frost in the ceiling or in a attic space oh, well you tell me is there always going to be some frost on your in your attic or should it be as completely dry as can be 
You can see the south side of the the roof has no frost on it, or very little, and the assumption would be from uh, that facing south, getting the sun. I see that vent over there for the other bathroom has frost above it. It's tough to see, and you can kind of see it out there now. So let me know if you think there's uh, still too much frost in my attic. The good news is that vent is still in place and dumping the air out into the uh, roof side. But facing north, I'm, I, you know, I have concerns about that vent, and I think I always will. That's it for this edition of Mundane Man, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye bye. Oh, and don't forget to like, comment, share, all those good things. And if you know people who like videos like this, pass it on to them. That'd be greatly appreciated. Talk to you soon.